Hi right, guys, well it's Friday afternoon. The video's just been uploaded. It's out there for you. So the previous Last previous week. one, not this one, obviously. <laughs> uh, just been uploaded, and we've decided as it's Friday afternoon, we're going to take a bit of a relax this afternoon. Being here on the floating dock, we get the use of the facilities as well. So. Yeah, it's part of the marina, Porto Blanco Marina. Yep. Um, so we're going to take the laundry over. There's free laundry over there, which is fantastic. Yep. They've got some um, nice couches and a shaded area with lots nice of breeze. So we're going to get off the boat for the afternoon and uh, yeah, maybe we'll film a little bit in there as well so you can check out the marina. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Huh? I always do this, I always feel like I'm forgetting something. Get in! Do I put my phone in the bag? guys so welcome to this week's episode um, we've made some decisions here we, we are in Lupron we're gonna be here for a while we've realized this they're talking about even locking us down again um, but what we want to do is keep working on the boat we've decided there's two major jobs we want to get done on the boat that is obviously the cabin top there we go we can swing the camera around it's so easy it's right, right there, there. Um, and the other one is the hard top um, we've decided to prioritize the hard top because it's so hot during the day here. We've got no shade outside. Yeah. So and with the hard top as well, so far our solar panels are up on the cabin top. So when it's time to do the cabin top section, um, we're we going to have to take the solar panels off We need to move the that. solar panels because that's where we've put them. So then we'll have a place to put the solar panels up on the hard top. Exactly. So that'll make it a lot easier. So this week we're going to head into town. We're going to find out what materials we can get hold of. Yeah. Um, and then we can make the plan and start to decide how we're going to do the hard top. But we need to look first into town to find what what is available. You know, we're in a not a third world country, but not far off. Um, certain things are available, certain things aren't. So let's head into town and see what we can get. So today we decided to take a tuk-tuk into town, or as they call them here, a margarita, or a moto taxi. Hopefully we'll be able to find the supplies we need at the hardware store. These roads are so bumpy going into town, it's crazy. As soon as we got into town today, these two dogs started following us around. They kind of acted as our chaperones. They would even wait outside stores when we went in to get a few bits and pieces, and they'd be right there when we came out. So this dog, his name apparently is Blanco, and he does this to lots of people in town. He'll follow them from the dinghy dock or from the margaritas around town, and he'll just sit there and be your friend all day. Come on. Please the way. So we've just come back from town. Um, we've managed to get a bunch of supplies. They should be delivered later on this afternoon. 
Um, and we've made a plan on how to make the hard top. Now we know what materials we can get. Um, I originally had a plan to make the hard top with like a core, whether it be um, honeycomb or wood or balsa or something like that. But we've managed to find some MDF materials here that I can make a really good mold out of. So what I want to do, and you're going to, don't get confused by what I'm saying now, but I want to make them up. It's a very big hard top. It's like 12 and a half feet by about 13 feet. Um, so I'm going to make it in two parts that will make them off of the boat. We can join them on the boat and then we'll fiberglass the top. This is all going to come in next week and the week after. I'm going to show you how I make the mold, how we fill the mold, how we sand it down, how we make everything work. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely something to come. Um, but we've made, we've now definitely got the materials we need to make the mold, which is huge. It's huge. So we we've, thought we were originally we gonna, yeah. yeah, we thought we were gonna have to go to Porta Plata to get some of the supplies that we needed. But it turns out they have everything here in Loop Run. So Locally, we can work with what they've got here, yeah, which helps out the local community and it also helps yeah, us support so. the local shops and that sort of stuff. So tomorrow, the next day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start preparing the boat, and also we want to follow the form of the boat. So we don't want to just make a flat hard top. Yeah. We actually want to make one which follows the contours. It's going to be something better than came out of the factory. Um, and so Hopefully. we need to prepare the boat and make the shapes and everything we need so that I can then go and make the form and the mold. So that's something that's going to be coming in the next day or two. Okay guys, so Big surprise is what we're going to do. We've decided to do here now is actually to build our hard top for the boat. It wasn't a project we had planned for here, um, but since we have time and it's really, really hot in the daytime, so we want some shade. So we've decided to start to build the hard top. One of the first points is actually removing this old glue, which actually picks down the old hard top. We have a new plan. Our hard top is going to be different to the original. We want to bring it up by about a foot and a half. So we have a viewing window across the top of the boat here. Um, and it's going to give better headroom to actually go underneath. So not only little people, but actually taller people can actually work also with this type of boat. So we're going to try and improve on the original Fontaine. Are you scraping some of that off anyway? Yeah, yeah that's just, I'm going to grind that back anyway. I'm going to literally put a tape line. Yeah. And I'm going to grind it back and just make a smooth area. And this is destroyed anyway. Look here. Yeah. I mean, that's the only one that's not destroyed, I think, is that one. The rest of it's going to get destroyed. So we left Puerto Rico on June 7th. And until now, our freezer has been full of food. Um, but we've just been able to transfer everything over to the other small freezer in the fridge. So we're going to see if this saves us some power by turning off the freezer. And then all we have is the fridge running. So hopefully we won't have to run the engines as often. Um, so we'll see what happens. Can't talk. I'm dying of heat exhaustion. <laughs> so we got there. We got this far. Started. Yeah. Started yesterday afternoon and not too much more to go, but my hand is so painful from the chisel. I was hitting the chisel with my hand. Um, so I tried the hammer, it's not as effective as the hand, but it's not as painful. Then we were using this one, um, fine saw, I think we call it. But that unfortunately just died this morning, so um, we've gone back down from that. But anyway, that was eating into the gel coat. So, so yep, yeah. chipping away. When we were in town today, we heard that there might be some new lockdown restrictions on us here. Yeah. Um, so They were talking about 45 days. 45 yeah. days of lockdown again. But we're not sure if that's going to be um, just a curfew at nighttime, like an 8 p.m. curfew, or if it's going to be complete lockdown restrictions like they had at the beginning. Um, we, we need to wait. The next couple of days is going to show everything. Well, hopefully we'll find out sooner rather than later, and we'll see what the, what the deal is. Um, We've got lots to do though. There's but lots of work. If it is in fact a 45 day lockdown, that takes us until September 1st. 
and September 1st is the proposed date when the Cayman Islands is going to open. Um, so hopefully, come September 1st, we'll be able to get back into Cayman and we'll get home Start to all, all our yeah. friends and all our staff back there. Um, but even if it is a lockdown and there's a curfew at 8 p.m., we're normally in bed by, what, we 7 30, We're in bed. When the sun goes down, we're pretty much done anyway. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. All the people here in Leaf Run have been fantastic. We've met a lot of great people, a lot of great friends. A lot um, of good advice where we can find yeah. stuff. It's not easy to find stuff here, so yeah. you really need the inside information. Yeah. So we've met a lot of great people who've helped us with that. Um, speaking of great people, thank you to every single one of you who has watched our videos, subscribed, and all of our patrons. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please hit that subscribe button. Also, the little bell that's next to it, that notifies you of all our new episodes that are coming out. And as always, guys, thank you so much to our patrons. It means so much to patrons, us right Patrons, you are really helping us out right now. Um, as you know, we normally work to uh, keep us going, but the patrons really are keeping the vegetables and the fruits in the fridge right now. So thank you so much for the, for the help and the support. It really is appreciated. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's gone really dark. There it is, better angle. It's the camera, it needs the yeah. focus. Yeah. <coughs> All right, press play. It is. It's playing already. Oh, crap. All righty. So, this week's episode. <laughs> All we want... righty. All righty. <laughs> you dickhead. You fucked it up already. <laughs> well, I keep saying hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, hi guys. Listen. Hi, guys. All righty. Is that already. your new this... one? <laughs> All right. I don't All righty. Know. Pause. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm hungry and we need to film this quickly. So, all right, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> now I don't have to start the damn video. You oh. can say all right, guys, if you want to. This week's episode. <laughs> I don't know how to start unless we say hi. Huh? I might as well do some work while I'm standing. No, so we just left. <laughs> we left. Yeah. Shut up! So somebody forgot to hit record. <laughs> so we're refilming this. <laughs> um, and so I'm hungry. <laughs> so Awkward long pause. Doesn't matter. Just <laughs> you, you can cut it off there. So. Yeah. <laughs>